What is up there my amazing viewers, my name is Cyberlag and welcome back to Small Build. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the Miniman headquarters I built and the Starlight Drive-In. So as you can see, just coming in through the main entrance, this is more like a security area. So when you, just as you, as soon as you get into the settlement, you're not just gonna be, oh I'm casually coming in here and taking all of your stuff, you're just gonna be destroyed by security if you do that. I'm gonna add more security details in this area right here that I'm showing you. And that is it about that. Now let me show you what I've done with the structure. Basically I took the concrete items from the, I don't know, I think it was the um, Wasteland Workshop DLC that those are in. Yeah, I think that's what they're from. And I started building like platforms and stuff, Put I put up some walls. Um, I decided to make this two stories and uh, have a, like a roof with all kinds of stuff on it. But the point was with the platforms and the walls that it kind of looked weird because it looked like the walls were like, I don't know, kind of hanging from the floor. I, I, it, it had a weird little diagonal feel to it. I, I didn't, you'll see what I mean right here. And so I placed walls under the actual walls that are on the floors. So then it looks more like, like it has a structure type of thing. So that's what I did for the whole build. I just went around and did that. Then I wanted an entrance, and I wanted the main entrance to be from the inside of the settlement, like more inside of the settlement. So the main entrance is basically um, a little security area where only the person in the control room over here can allow you to come in or out. And there's a but there's a switch I believe for this uh, electric door. So if I turn that off, this light also goes off for some reason. I guess it. Uh, it does help in a way, not. But it does turn it off, and there's no real reason, there's no real way for me to uh, not make it turn off. So I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, this was meant to happen, not. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh, and it also turns off the settlement recruitment beacon, which is bad. I need to get that. I need to fix that at some point. But for now, then, let's keep it open so I can get more settlers in here. Um, but anyway, so with the inside, I just decided to decorate it a bit randomly. I didn't know what to do on the first floor, so what I did was actually just put some filing cabinets, a display case, some other random decorations, this, like, this ham radio thing, and then this little conference area with a map of the Commonwealth. So pretty much it took me about an hour to get this stuff because there are way too many decorations in the LC Decorator mod, but I'm happy with it, so... Continuing to the second floor. Actually, no, let's go back to the first floor. I forgot to show you some stuff. So, in here, this after this mesh door, there's this, like, little mesh wall thing over here, which doesn't really serve any purpose, just to see outside. So, anyway, over here we have a control post, and I believe that's what it's called. Um, in here, there was really not much I could put in here to, like, make it look more realistic and decent. So, the only thing, I just placed a chair, a terminal, and a desk. I didn't really want anything else. And then I just left it like this. I might actually put some more stuff in here at some point, but there's... You can't put stuff on the walls. They won't snap and then... To get wall stuff to, to work without them snapping is kind of a pain. And not only kind of, it is a pain. A big one as well. Maybe could add something else over here. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Going on to the second floor now. And up here, I'm gonna start with the balcony. This balcony was... Pretty easy to make, there was not much to, to it, I just needed to put the walls one block in, or half a, half a, I don't know, platform in, and then just put some other stuff here. So I put some spotlights, which for some reason are not working, but then again, I need to fix up the electricity of this place, which by the way was a pain in the ass, as usual, but can't do much about it. Alright, so then some general decorations, a strong thing, lockers, and a few more things. I put a bathroom because I feel bad for all these soldiers or Minutemen that are gonna have to sit in here. Some pinup posters, Mer I believe that's Marlon Monroe, probably is, yeah. And then we have like some weapons on the weapon rack, some trunks, other random stuff you would find in a, I don't know, a bunk, and a, you know, a Minutemen bunk. Okay, so. Uh, over here we have a ledge, which should have had a fence or something here. For some reason I didn't put anything. I think I was going to with a catwalk design here, which is probably going to be in a separate video, so stay tuned for that as well. So up here is the roof, and uh, this place was 
redesigned a, about a million times because I didn't really know how I wanted this to be. So then I decided at some point that I was just going to have it protected from all sides, showing the left and right. Have this artillery... Artil I cannot say that word. Artillery. There we go. Artillery cannon thing. Uh, just right here. And over here would be like a sniping position, which... You could probably get sniped easier than you would snipe someone since... Well, there's that big fat factory over there. Trains and other stuff. And I believe that there's something over there in that train. I need to go look later on to see if there actually is because I've never actually gone up to that train. Anyway, so then there's just a, a few random barricades here because there's not really anyone that's going to be attacking you from the inside of the settlement. But in case there is, this is why these are here. So anyway... After that, it was pretty much a thing of wiring. So before I started wiring stuff, I added this satellite uh, recruitment radar dish thing, which actually looks pretty decent and it looks better than the normal ones do. So pretty much did that. So after here, uh, I took this uh, mini fusion reactor thing and connected it, which was, it's basically a generator. So I connected it to these conduits, which are from like the contraptions workshop DLC or something. And then I connected it to that power line there, which kind of looks realistic, if you ask me. And then just connected it all along, but for some reason the wiring got screwed up and I need to fix it again. So anyway, I forgot to mention these signs that I that took me 12 freaking years to place because, well, these were floor signs and I wanted to put them on a the wall. So, yeah, if you try to go against Fallout 4's logics, which usually go against you anyway, you're just basically screwed. So anyway guys, this is pretty much it for the small build today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. And also comment down below if you would like me to build something specific in the next video. Or in the next small build. And yeah, peace out everybody.